Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One, here to inspire and empower your wig journey. I'm presenting a brand new style by Belle Tress today. This is brand new, it's still on pre-order, and I ended up getting a sample directly from Belle Tress so I could show you all the details before you order. This one is called Coco, and I have it today in the color British Milk Tea. We're gonna check it out right from the box. This wig was sent to me as a sample directly from Belle Tress so I could review it for you today. You can find it at Wig Studio One. If you go below the video and expand the description box, there will be a direct product link there titled, Find Belle Tress Coco at Wig Studio One. If you click on that link, it'll take you out to the site where you can take a look at the colors and the pricing. And you can also find out when this item is expected to ship as per Belle Tress. So be sure to check it out below. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. And don't forget to visit us on our other social media, the Wig Studio One YouTube channel, private Facebook group, and Instagram page. So let's get to it, right? This is Coco. Oh, it looks so adorable in the photos. It's gonna be in the color British Milk Tea. Boy, Belle Tress is really knocking it out of the park with these new releases. And I love it they're taking pre-orders so early. Um, it just gives us a chance to get in line for some of these beautiful new styles because oftentimes other manufacturers will oversell and then there's a very long waiting list. So let's check out Coco. It looks really soft and feminine. I like that because Beltress is really kind of known for that uh, choppy beachier wave. But look at those curls. The little silicone pack just dropped. Look at those curls. Really nice barrel curls. Soft, feminine look. It's a nice short to mid-length that looks like. Let me just glance at the cap real quick. Aha! I really like the way they're doing their lace fronts these days. So much improved. I really think they're listening to what we really want. Okay, so off with the tag here so that I can begin working with the style. Let's take a look at that cap. So here you have that temple to temple lace front. It's fully expanded back into the ear tab. That is what is new about a lot of the newer styles by Beltrust. They're going to the, uh, what they consider maybe a half moon lace or something that is, extends really far back into the ear tab. That prevents that seam and opens up so many different styling options. Then you have a center monofilament part. It's a seamless unit. And that wide mouth at the center monofilament part allows you to part left, right, or center. I really love these center parts by Beltress. Always nice and finely knotted there. A closed velvet ear tab. An extended felted nape. And then we have the regular strap type adjusters that Beltress is known for. Now Beltress typically has an average to average large fit. The caps are very roomy and they're very stretchy. I'm a 21 and a quarter inch circumference, which is petite, petite average. I am typically able to make a good enough adjustment for it to feel secure on my head. Of course, we can get that one off once in a while, uh, but I am so happy because this is among my favorite brands, Beltress. So you've got open wefting. I'm gonna go ahead and try it on. We will assess the fit and then I'll remove it, make any adjustments, and then we will start working with Coco. Wow, I can tell right away I am going to adore it. It's just the right length. Okay, so on the fit, I actually have to confess that this one fits better than most Beltrus caps for a smaller circumference. Now, I still think that for the most part, your Beltress is gonna be that average to average large, 
but in this case, I'm just not going to have to make as big of an adjustment to accommodate my petite average circumference. This one feels incredible. I'm still going to have to make a small adjustment though. So let's go ahead and do that. I could tell right away when I was looking at this, like it just seemed maybe a little smaller than some. And I can always tell by how gaping it is around the circumference when I'm looking at it, just gapes. And this one did not have it. It didn't seem as large to me. And I was right. It isn't as large. Wow. Okay. So let me glance into my mirror here just so I can situate it. I always like to wake it up. There's very little permatease here. Just very typical bell tress. Oh, it's adorable. And the body in these curls, these buoyant barrel curls. Now there was a style that they had that was very similar in length that was called Devotion. And I do have a review on that. I hope it's still available. It's really cute, but there's a lot of curl and volume. This one has a softer, more loose barrel curl compared to that Devotion. And wow, this is, whew, I mean, you can see right out of the box, right? Just a shake. And then I made my part. So it's a short to mid length, very soft, elegant, curly style. Lots of body in this one. Buoyant body and bounce. Just the epitome of romance. But yet it's just the right length. Another one that reminded me a lot of this one was Allegro. It had a lot of beautiful soft wave to it, but it was longer. And so I'm so happy to see that Beltrus is coming out with a little bit of a shorter style. Another feature to these measurements is that front piece. It's not long and lanky. It's a six inch fringe that just wants to jump off of that lace front elegantly and kind of feather back. Gives it a real classy look, doesn't it? So overall about 12 inches with a six inch fringe, it weighs about four ounces. Features again, that fully expansive lace front, center monofilament part with a very large parting space. Let's get up close on the lace. They do a wonderful job with the lace on this color. And we're gonna go into this color in just a moment, but you can definitely see where the highlight is brought up. It's not a thick banding. It is interspersed and blended very, very well, but it's very nice and soft. Those knots are really fine there as well. And like most Beltress styles, it's a nice light density, so you're gonna be able to see through the monofilament features there to the illusion of scalp. A very nice realistic looking monofilament lace features. British Milk Tea. Before I forget to talk about this color, it's an eight tone blend of some browns and some blondes. So hitting the highlights here, you're gonna see a light brown. I think that's kind of like the main color. And then it's heavily highlighted with a couple of different blondes. But what's important to remember there is these blonde highlights are actually toned down. It looks like maybe with a violet base toner, it makes them very cool. And on some applications of this color, you can almost pick up on a hint of violet. Now on this one, I'm not picking up on any violet. It actually just looks like a toned white. You may be able to see something different in the camera. And then don't forget the medium brown root. Okay, so this curl, the curl is doing all the work. It really is a very nice light density. Um, there's just a little bit of that soft pillowy permatease here at the base at the nape, but very little elsewhere. That just gives some scaffolding to all of this buoyancy and volume towards the bottom. That's what gives it the classy, elegant look. And it just feels like maybe you set it in rollers and just gently, gently 
broke them up a little with your fingers. And then it's very smooth on the crown until you get about halfway down. I'm just in wow mode right now. Um, I cannot conceal my excitement for this little style. Uh, boy, it's gonna give it's gonna give styles like Editor's Pick um, by Raquel Welch a real run for its money. It's got all the ingredients, 100%. Now I like the lower density. I like the fact that it's lower per Matisse. Um, on the top and the sides, and as expected, we're getting a fantastic natural looking ear tuck on this one. Back with some styling, let's try with glasses. The glasses arms fit nicely, neatly, and securely between the ear and the ear tab. They're comfortable. I think this is a really good glasses-friendly style by Beltress. So I'm just gonna manipulate this hair in front of you, just work with it, have a little bit of fun. This really is not a styling tutorial. It's to help you get to know this wig better, how it moves, how it reacts, and also to inspire you to work with your wigs. Remember, I'm always picking, fluffing, I'm using a heat from my hands, whatever I have to do to make this look good around the face and suit my own personal tastes and preference. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you soon on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.